you're watching Mima season two, and we're very excited to be here in Subba, the land below the wind, for the very first time. And not only that, it's going to be an explosive tryouts here in Kota Kinabalu, fondly known as KK, because this is one place that's been eagerly waiting for Mima. Mama anak saya ialah Sani Sabornido. Dia berumur 26 tahun. Dia adalah anak sulung saya daripada empat adik beradik. Saya menyadari kekurangan dia semasa dia berumur empat tahun. Dan saya bawa dia jumpa doktor dan baru berdapat pengesan dia dia adalah cacat pendengaran. Anak ni dia suka berkawan. Masalah dia dengan kawan dia orang tidak berfahaman jadi kawan ni cepat marahlah pernah juga dia pulang muka dia orang buat dia make up dan saya sakit hati kenapa buat anak begini saya cakap Sonny Subornito is technically deaf but that's not going to stop him from entering the Mima cave when the bout begins Sonny gives his opponent as good as he gets showing some impressive striking skills that is lightning quick and relying on his coach's hand signals, the Kinning Out warrior is fearless and does not give in without a fight. Although, at one point he is trapped with one leg, he uses his strength to turn defense into offense. Coupled with some devastating kicks, Sonny gets the upper hand and finishes off the fight in devastating fashion. His coach is clearly pleased with the dominating outcome. The sparring restarts, but it looks like Sonny is too strong and with his coach relaying good advice, being deaf has a big advantage by not being distracted by the noise around him. I think it's exciting. It's been a while since we did it as husband and wife. I'm always proud of her. I try to become a good training partner, but look at the difference. Size. <laughs> he helped me, but how can I help him? I'm pretty confident that he, he, can, he can go far. I'm hoping I can go far too. Her opponent is also a fighter and is ready to show off her skills. My background is Taekwondo and then I'm a state boxer. Two years practicing in BJJ. It's cool for a woman to try this martial art. And the cat fight commenced. Guys, hey, let's get, let's go. Good, nice. Yeah, way, very good. Right and pound, With go. instructions from her husband, Bao tried to take the upper hand. Stand up, up, run and pump. Lost your, there you go. Pump, pump. Both women showed they were well-rounded in mixed martial arts. And so it was her husband's turn. And Bao, well, she was his cornerman. Take down and scrambling on the ground, the fight wore on. Three minutes of takedown attempts and misses. Come on, don't just stay there. Keep punching, keep punching. But after finally listening to his wife, he was able to establish his takedown game and control the fight. I need to fix my wrestling. As you all saw, just like boxing as well. I'm not thinking about going far. I'm only thinking about one thing. Me, my one champion. The next trial bout sees this fighter taking on Anthony James, a man who has a point to prove. As the three-minute round begins, there is a fury of fists as both fighters are keeping the fight standing up. But Anthony looks to take his opponent down. He fails. And with that, he tries again, but decides the best way is to strike his way to victory. With that in mind, he grows in confidence and takes the bull by its horn. It left him with another sweet experience being in the cage. Excel Majalang. Uh, basically, I do visuals of buildings for developers and also interior design. The first Mima, one week before the tryout, so I didn't do any preparation last year. So this year, I'm more well prepared because I've been training a month before. However, prepared Maxwell is, nothing prepares you for the cage. His opponent is more aggressive fighter in the first few minutes, using his strength to subdue Maxwell. Not once. Not twice. But three times, Maxwell turns the ties on his opponent and submits him. As the tryout restarts, Maxwell knows that he has this match in the bag. 
And yet, his opponent is again going all out for the kill. And then, Misfortune strikes his opponent. And so it's old versus young, but both fighters are giving 100% into their bout. Despite his age, Kenneth keeps up with his much younger opponent, but this clearly is Alex's fight to lose. I just used my Senna skill so against him. He was pretty good. Uh, my opponent, Alex, I think he's got uh, good, pretty good training. Showing some awesome skills, Alex utilizes both his striking and ground game to good use. And despite his youth, Alex shows Kenneth a thing or two about strength. But Kenneth never gave up. Still alive, definitely. Despite all the challenges that I've been through, you know, I survived cancer and all those things, yeah? Look at mine, I'm here today, I'm in Lima, and I'll be here again next year. A win would certainly be music to Nathaniel's ears as he faces his opponent in the Mima cage. As the fight begins, Nathaniel is clearly looking to use his strategy of his groundwork to good use. Although his opponent keeps the fight standing up, Nathaniel tries his best for the takedown but his opponent isn't having any of it. But both fighters are clearly getting more aggressive. Yeah, he got good striking, you know, good setup. I'm more to grappling and you know, groundwork and all that. He's a Muay Thai trainer, that's why I'm off. So try to get the, the fight on the ground. I don't understand up with him, so that was my strategy. And once he met his objectives, Nathaniel looks to enjoy being in mount and pounds his way into the points. All in all, both fighters gave as good as they got until the final bell. I got music in my head. Yeah. Okay guys, so I want to thank you for coming to uh, the tryout here in KK Saba for MIMA Season 2. Um, I hope you've been training hard for this one, because you have to know that there's a lot of fighters who came today that are really willing to win till the end and become a champion for MIMA Season 2. For you, I want to tell you that This time you did not make it. For today you'd make it, so you're in the running. You know, we've always seen the American idols when they go in one room and stuff like that. So I actually felt what they felt. I made it, I made it to him. <laughs> I'm going to feel awesome, got through. Uh so, um, I don't know what to say. Be careful. The silver back is coming. Wow. Welcome back to MIMA Season 2. Right now we're in Kuching and we're looking forward to finding out what talent is out here in the Spring Mall. That's right. If Sabra boasts the producing warriors, then Srawa is renowned for having the fiercest headhunters in all of Borneo. But they could all be a bunch of pussy cats. You know, Kuching, Cat City and all that. All right. Let's find out then. And now it's time for Steven to impress his friends and fans. Go, Steven! By focusing on finishing off his opponent. Steven is ruthless as he attacks his opponent with some strong striking, including powerful jabs. With his opponent on the back foot, Steven demonstrates his strength with a massive takedown. And he finishes off his opponent with some ground and pound. It was a one-sided sparring match for Steven as he looks hungry for the Mima middleweight belt. So the simulator man takes his turn into the cage and is looking for the kill. He employs a rapid attack on his opponent and is looking to blindly swing his way into the bout. But somehow he suffers from gum shield malfunction along the way. After a short break, he continues the bout, this time like an aircraft on top speed. But his opponent is a patient man and takes the blows. And with some measured strikes, it was all too much for the simulator man. Tadi kami saya termasuk dalam mulut, mod kat saya terkeluar. Kemudian kursi saya terbedah. Kemudian terspeed lah sakit. Kita kena sakit. Ah, contohnya. Ah, dud. Saya kira 
nak betulkan kam saya di ha dia kata ada luka sikit lah ha tired and i'm quite sorry for him actually i didn't expect to hit that hard what team to use is tai chi inside the cage this mixed martial artist had a hard time fending off his opponent it seemed his tai chi had no effect inside the cage the audience were also treated to a great bout between these two fighters. Right from the word go, they displayed a great fight both on the ground and standing up to the delight of the crowd. With aggressive takedowns and numerous submission attempts, it was clear that there was no real loser in this bout. Meanwhile, the family man shows his courage in the cage by taking on an experienced fighter. Wearing some unorthodox shorts and fueled by adrenaline, the family man is clearly out to impress his family and friends. But as the bout progressed, it showed that he was not prepared mentally and physically for this fight, which could have led to some disastrous consequences. Hanging on each second, the family man is boldly trying to continue the bout, but he is outgunned by his stronger opponent. In the end, the family man is out of luck, out of the fight, and dangerously out of breath. The fight is stopped by the referee, but not without some warning to those who intend to come into the cage unprepared. And now Christopher will finally experience his first taste as a fighter. He walks into the cage knowing that his dream is on the line as he meets his opponent, a veteran boxer. This is what Christopher has been waiting for all his life. As he goes on the attack from the start, in spite of his relative inexperience, Christopher cannot believe his luck at this moment. My opponent, he is a boxing trainer. I thought I really I'm going to be finished by the first minute already. But Christopher was not finished at all. However, one fall nearly finished his bout. When I fell down, my opponent jumped on me. That was the point when I wanted to give up. Then I tell myself, come on, get up, you're a fighter. I'm just so happy that I can finish it. The freelance rider redeemed himself, and as the round ended, Christopher was finally on his way to fulfilling his goal. And now the results for the fighters to know their fate in this season's tryouts. For now, it's just one, one, four, one. One, four, one. Tell him now, can you translate to him? Because he don't understand anything of what I'm saying right now. Just tell him he didn't make it. Okay, you can go back. So you guys make it, you have to know that you are in the running, okay? It's been that by that and the end of April, we're gonna contact you again and then let you know, confirm you 100% if you are in tournament or not. All right, for you guys, I wanna say that you made it to the running. I'm sorry, this time you did not make it and I hope to see you soon again. Sad faces, but they gave their all, and we hope to see them again next time. We've come to the end of our Borneo adventure, and the quality of fighters has been really good. Yeah, and we're wishing all the best and hope to make it to the ladder matches. That's it from us this time, but we'll see you on the next edition of Mima Season 2. Payback, Rashid. No. Yes, okay, all right, I'm out, tap out.